Good afternoon everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me, it is really lovely to have you here and um, yeah we're going to have some fun playing with some bits of material. So I hope you're all well, I'm doing okay, thank you. I, um, yeah, I wasn't on yesterday, we had a, a bit of an issue with the car, the exhaust broke in half practically and uh, yeah it's had to it's had to go in and be fixed so I had to get my my brother-in-law to take me this morning for my blood test and yeah just too many things happening not enough time to film so um I did manage last night late last night just to have an hour's crafting just to to say I'd been sat at my desk but um yeah no film yesterday but I'm back today and um I think what I'm trying to do because I'm ti I'm tidying up um and I've realized that as I as I tidy uh, what I need to do is use some things rather than you know try to find good spaces to store them so you know I've got these and these are just small ones I've got also a big pack of big ones that I got um, in the summer beginning of the summer I think last year or maybe it was later on I can't remember but um, at a car boot <coughs> and I've used a few for covers but I've had these and um, they, they were too nice to get rid of and I I know they would make nice tags but I think they're a bit thick so I'm thinking I need to, I need to use these what can I use them for and I came up with this now you know that I love a little notebook and I was just sat looking at it playing with it but and I folded it over like that and thought oh that would make a lovely mini notebook <laughs> so that's what I've done so of course I had to sit and make one um, I've had this little piece uh, sitting around on my desk or in drawers and things for a long time as well. I'm sure you, you saw that. In fact, it's been over a year since I had my new knee and I made this on a, on a video that I did ready to play while I was in hospital. So yeah, so it's been made a year, definitely. Um, I just uh, stitched the, the papers in on the inside and I've just uh, tied a bow with that. I might, might put, you know, dangle it down and put some uh, beads on it. I just put one eyelet on the front so that I wrap the um, the binding round to, to close it and just some scraps or cut up pieces of paper inside. This is a piece of Tim Holtz. So it, this absolutely could be just a scrappy make. You could just make it with lots of scrappy papers. Now I do have a box. I haven't got it on my desk now, but I do have a box of little mini journals that I've made and I love. <laughs> um, and they're made differently to this. They've got like the string um, is it a mis, mis I can't remember now. It begins with M. The binding. Missouri binding. Can't can't remember. Anyway, but these are stitched in. Um, yeah, and I love them. Absolutely love them. Can't wait to uh, to decorate some of them. I'm I'm sitting here looking at my stamps and my little miniature labels and thinking, oh yes. Um, and I think I might even have a little little play with um, either paints or crayons in them as well. So this one I'm definitely keeping for me to play in, um, but I'm going to make a few. So I thought I'd make one with you now and um, just show you roughly what, what I did. And then, yeah, I shall be turning as I get time, those into mini journals and either, you know, sending them out as gifts, might put a couple in the Etsy. So yeah, it's just a nice size. Let me give you some sizes because I haven't been doing that lately, have I? So it is, the actual material is 10, centimeters or four inches just under uh, in height and the whole piece is six and a half inches or 16 and a half centimeters and now these are samples um, and they're upholstery samples so it's like that's the thickness of it but you absolutely could do it with any any fabric that you've got um, you know and just back it now I've left this on I have tried taking these off on the bigger ones and it's it's just on too well it leaves a mess but I'm, I was thinking leaving it on it protects the edges you know so that they're not I don't think going to curl up or you know become um, tricky at the edge so yeah it was my intention to leave them on anyway let me just bring this one this one back in and then um, you know just so you can't see that although there is nothing wrong with that I just put a little square of, of Mattim Holtz paper but you could put another square of material or you could make a little pocket and stick it on there um, you could put you know another flip up notebook on the front and the back because there's plenty of room in it I think I put 10 10 or 11 pages in there something like that so shall we make one because they're they're reasonably easy to make to be honest I didn't um, do anything special with the spine I literally just tore up pages so I've got some more here 
so you can see by the size of them why I'm saying use your scraps and a lot of these are my scraps what do you want on the outside that's pretty isn't it let's have this on the outside <coughs> and um, in here I cut some of them with the fancy scissors you can see there and um, some I folded over that were too long rather than cut them off there's one look you can see that's a scrappy bit just folded it over rather than cutting it off I think that's all I did yeah just some more fancy scissor cuts and of course a scrap of um what's her name Edith in there I haven't got another piece of that out I don't think anywhere no so um I've got this for the middle let's do this first then because I I had one of these in the, the, other, the other part of this in the middle of that one so let's have that in the middle and then um what else have we got so i've got lines going that way it's got writing on so i need to get it a certain way a um, bit of book page lovely um splattered and inked and distressed it's a mushroom it's from the mushroom book where i cut the mushrooms out so it's a um like an index page oh there's a piece of my coffee dyed scrap and i've just folded which is a short piece and they're both short just folded it over rather than cut it out so it will have a flip out shall we yeah let's have it that way so it'll flip out for an extra extra page there it's not catching in there <coughs> Didn't I have a, which one was going on the outside? I was butterfly on that one. Yeah, I started on the outside, didn't I? And then, yeah, that, that was going on the outside. Take it out. I love this piece of it in here. The right way up, so the butterfly will be on the back. That's it. That's better. Oh, believe. was the outside that one I've got four pieces of that going on yeah I'm trying not to be too precious about you know the pages that I've got going in it were you the outside you were uh, got two of you together okay let's have a look you're all very brown there aren't you oh it's brown anyway let's turn it the other way Okay, I'm not going to faff with it and then I just literally folded that over to see if I had any overhang and anything that was overhanging I just cut back with the the fancy scissors but I might just put a few more pages in make this one a bit thicker and um, I don't even know how many I've got there one two three four five six seven that's a double one eight nine ten oh 11 12 I've got 13 pages there but they doesn't feel like it feels very thin I'm definitely gonna put some more in and make a a bigger you know a fatter booklet than the last one let's put you in here while we've got lots of plain going on what else have we got no that's quite thick card that'll chunk it up should I put a piece of that in this is um, my Kath Kidston colouring book that I did colour in a little but then when I dyed a couple of pieces of it and I saw how lovely it was dyed <laughs> so I'm not going to fold that one over I'll just create a scrap and put that in my scrap box that's not very is it <laughs> shall we do some across the top and try and straighten that up a bit a little bit some fancy scissors Ooh. yeah they're not the best they're only cheapo not too bad okay why should we put you it is quite chunky now um in there yeah might have trouble sewing through it because i just went through it with my i'll probably use the all this time to go through bit chunkier how how skinny is that 
yeah I suppose the thing is when I start putting stuff in it's going to get chunky isn't it so I sewed this in first so let's oops move that out of the way clip it a little bit all right and I might need this flap open I did with the other one because when you put an awl mark through there it, it's fabric it just closes up again I couldn't see it so um I got some red thread ready I'm too organized today aren't I, I got some red thread ready on my needle it's a waxed waxed thread and I didn't press any book or anything I just punched through it in midair so let's let's try that again shall we and hope I get in the middle keep it straight oh, yeah there's quite a lot going on in there and because I want the threads to end up there outside that is where I'm starting right I got that one through no problem that was good so this one I really ought to clip it both sides because when I'm pressing so hard with the awl I could very easily you know move it about so I'm going about there look oh yeah <laughs> I think I know about it with all those extra pages crikey you're in the right spot let's take it out and hope it stays there it did so I'm going a bit further down the all than I did with the other booklet as well so it's making a uh, you know it's making a bigger hole through the fabric it is closing up again though look um where are we going so we want one in this is going to be the tricky one are we straight I might have just pulled it that way a little bit actually when I clipped it yeah you are not in a straight line through the right so i'm going to unclip it on there i mean i'm in a straight line in the papers but i'm not in a straight line in the cloth so i'm just going to oops take it out of there in fact let me put me oh no because we're coming through the cloth this way aren't we yes so where do i want to be about there Maybe I was in a straight line. Let's try it and see. Are you going to go in? Oh, it's through. Yes. I didn't think that was going to go through that easily. Now it's hard to see red and red. I've got my light on. Is that better? Might not be much better. Um, is that a straight line? Straight line-ish. It will do. Um, but yeah, getting it back through here. This might be the tricky one. Oh, it's gone through that hole okay so it's hoping it's not caught then so i should in theory be able to pull those separate and it not pull the other yep yeah. it's not caught super to be fair the other one didn't either so yeah i don't know if it's easier because they're so tiny and you can get your uh, you know so small you can get your fingers in and you can uh, manipulate everything about that probably doesn't make any sense to you but if you have a go yourself you'll know what I mean it's just easier to handle okay let's see if it's nice and straight or not put that needle over there right I suppose I could manipulate it like that if it's not looks okay to me we'll know more when we do this in here all right yeah it is a little bit further that way so start it from the back and open them out and then see and um, I could always cut the that cloth a bit I have got pinking shears so if it's just that um you know the front or the back is longer than the other I can trim it down to make it the same just straightening the pages down so they're lying lovely and flat not uh, cobbled over if that's a, if that's a language you understand a bit loose a little bit yeah 
tells a lot more pages in it as well it's getting thicker once I get most of them turned over there's the pull out one look my fingers are getting so rubbing <laughs> Because the bigger the spine, the more it's having to fold over, I guess. You know, the bulk in the middle. Is that the front? It is. Right. So, yeah, it naturally falls a bit further that way, I think. Yeah. So, I probably need to trim that back a little bit. And then I'm, I, let's see if I can do it with these pinking shears. And I probably need to trim the pages. Now, I didn't have to do this first time, I got it very central, but. It could well be just because I'm doing it on camera and, uh, you know, I've not got my head over it and what have you. Yeah, it's not quite as pretty, but it is zigzaggy, pinked. Yeah, I think we need the papers um, tearing down. Well, not all of them. Let's have a look. Perhaps only a couple, that one. So shall we put that with these? Oops. And there's no reason why they shouldn't hang over, of course. Is that the only one? There's that one a bit. No, that's that lovely. I'm going to use my pinking shears on it, I think. I don't usually use these on paper. Oh. You go straight so I can I just think I want a little bit more up there I don't know if I cut it cockeyed there we don't we seem to be sticking out a little yeah maybe it is easier with less um, papers in it but we're now sticking out a bit let's, let's use a different pattern what we've got here yeah very fancy. Don't even know where to start to call that. It's just a fancy scallop. Fancy wiggle. Yep, I think that's it. Lovely. Now what I didn't get out was one of these to put on the front. What's this that I've got here? I've got a snippet here. That would do, wouldn't it? Yeah, I've got a box of these little, um, I think I've, I've shown you it, or a file of them in the uh, my ephemera box. That looks all right on there, actually. So that's a, um, it's going to have a hole in it there. Cluster, that's what it is. It's a fabric and paper cluster, or it's a paper cluster with some lace on it. Let's see if I like it that way better. I can see what you know the stamp goes that way up I think yeah yeah because like I say there's going to be the, a hole punch there but I don't want to punch the hole until I've glued and I've got some more yes now if you don't like that white showing of course you could um, ink round that because it is paper it would take ink but I think I'm going to leave I'm going to leave it on this one because I'm going to make so many I can do so many different variations counter so for for this one on camera which side do we like them next to this pink i've got two pieces cut i quite like that red um, label there Which do we like? I quite like that as well, actually. Decisions, decisions. Oh, I like those typewriter keys. So I'm going to go with that one, right? I think what I'll do is, if I've got my, just the very tiny corner rounder, just so we're not quite pointy, so slightly rounded corners. Yep. Yeah. And then just give it a slight ink so I've not got white edges particularly on that paper and I'm literally just going to stick it in there and just leave a bit 
of um, oh, I need to use fabric tack leave a little bit of fabric showing Ooh, gloopy I've got a cloth normally I would do that on my fingers and let it dry but seeing as I'm I'm on camera it's the best way to do it to get it off cleanly is do it on your fingers and then kind of let it dry and then rub it off you get a lovely clean nozzle Oh, cheers. So I've got a drink of squash, not a cup of tea today. You can tell it's uh, it's getting warmer weather. I wouldn't have dreamt of drinking squash a couple of weeks ago. You know, diluted. I don't know what you call squash. Uh, cordial, you know, but you put water in. I've uh, been for my blood test and although they dropped my uh, medication quite a bit, I am... Um, uh, I'm still fairly high. It's come down a little bit, but it's still too high for their liking. So, drop my meds again this week. So I'm on the lowest this week that I've been ever since I was uh, diagnosed with the blood clot. So that is a good thing because obviously the less the less drugs you have in your system, the better. And they are particularly. I think they're quite rough drugs on your kidneys and things like that. Well, all drugs are, aren't they? But yeah, I think warfarin's reasonably tricky on your kidneys long term, which most of us are on it. Yeah, so that will slide around, so I need to leave that to just let it. But I do like these, uh, like, what is it? Pink and sheared edges on them. So I'll leave that one and put this one on. So we, which did we go with that one? Shall we have the same side? I think we will. Keep it similar. Yeah, I can see me sitting once I I'm, once I can sit a long time. I can't at the moment. I have been doing, but at the moment my legs are giving me a bit of jip <laughs> and it's saying no, move about. But yeah, once I can sit and have a, a few hours here. I can see me with a mass mass making session of these. I'll soon get through some, especially if I, you know, get all the same size pieces together and then get a lot of papers all the same size and, you know, proper mass make. Um, what do they call it? Some kind of a line. <laughs> Forgotten. Assembly line. That's it. Assembly line style. Now, when I did this on the blue one, I spread it around with my spreader and I've just realised I didn't do that this time. But I think it's fine because it, because it's the upholstery fabric, it's really thick. So it's not bleeding through. If you're doing it with a thinner fabric, I would still use fabric tack, but I would use it in a thinner layer. And uh, I might even leave it a few minutes to get tacky before uh, putting it down on this bit there. Got a bit on the, must have it on my fingers. It's come off though. It's quite good that it'll slide around for a minute or two actually because I've pushed that one far too far in that way. Come on. I think it's covered it just. I might, yeah, I won't do it now. I might have to just go in there with some uh, art glitter once it's dried. Yeah, what I want is that to dry really so that I can uh, put a a whole reinforcer through. Um, whole reinforcer. Put a hole through <laughs> and reinforce it. So, um, I'll just give it a few minutes while we get everything everything ready. Should we go with a silver one on this bright red? What do you think? Pewter. Oh, it's got like gold... Uh, Gold thread going through it now. I know I haven't got any gold or bronzy ones, so it's probably going to have to be a dark one. Hmm. Yeah, that one's darker, I think. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Big decision. <laughs> Oops. And then inside this one, I put a. Uh, a reinforcer and then I punch the hole at the same time. I'll show you what I mean. 
So it's one of these reinforcers that doesn't have the hole through it. What colour do we want? Oh, I think I, do you know, I think I got one out. Or I've got deja vu. I did look. I don't know if it goes on that Tim Holtz paper I've chosen though. No, it goes with the red of the... So, no. I want something more grey. Yeah. So I'll glue that down and then I'll punch through. And when you put the back, um, punch the um, the eyelet or the grommet, whatever you want to call it, um, it just gives it something more to grab onto. Because that can, you know, when it splits open that, that eyelet, it can be a bit messy straight onto paper or fabric. So we'll use that glitter on this. So I might be I might be doing a quickish video for once in my life. Who who would have thought it? I mean I know I got things ready, but I was waiting for the stuff to on my blue one to dry while I was making that, so uh, that's why. So I thought I'll get some bits ready for this one. <laughs> Put out ready. Put that glitter back in there. Lid needs filling that. Oh, yeah, so the car's all done anyway, all done and dusted, and it's back. They were only a couple of hours, and uh, although it cost a couple of hundred, I thought it was going to be a little bit more than that because exhausts are pricey things, and uh, then mechanic <laughs> mechanic fees are pricey as well. But uh, yeah, we found a new garage, had some good reviews online. And uh, yeah, so far we're really, really pleased with it. So they got us in quick and they've done a good job, it seems. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah, can't wait to get my collection out now and add them too. So let me just have a quick look through these with you then while, um, while we give that a moment or two. So I've got some linen ones, they're going to be nice, aren't they? So I can do grungy ones and I can do some really pretty pink lacy uh, shabby chic ones, some boho. See that one's got a big, great big thing of glue on it where it's stuck in the book so that might happen, might not. I've cut the end off that one for something so I won't be using that. Again that's got glue. Now I don't, maybe I could stick, I could cut it there and stick paper down. So I'll use the ones that are easy to use first, like that, that one's fine. That's a lovely spring kind of, yeah, I like that. Oh no, glue, bleh. <laughs> oh, that's got glue on the inside, so if I pick that off, that'll be fine. That's a wintry dark one though, I think. Uh, same with that, it's had its end cut off. Yeah, there's a glue on a lot of them. They're all kind of stuck together, you see. That one's got glue on as well. That's been cut off. Oh, there's a good one. So I'm, I've only got three so far. Or four, because there was a dark one that I put back. That, yeah, that'll glue back down. I've obviously picked at it. So that's a nice long one, isn't it? It's a lovely colour blue, that, though. So that's four. Another linen one. Again, I've pulled the edge off, but I could soon stick some. In fact, I could make it a bit smaller. So yeah, soon stick some paper down there. Is that five? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's one of those, um, it's not out of the booklet, this. This is what my sister's friend sent me. Where's it from? I forget. Uh, G-Plan, was it? Yeah, G-Plan. That will make a nice one, won't it? Two, four, six. Glue. That's nice. I can put a bit of paper back on that. Oh, I really like that one. That's, is that similar to these that we're doing? Similar. Seven, and again, I can cut the end off that one. Eight. Yes, yeah, so I've got at least eight there, and the two I've made, that's ten. So I'm going to end up with ten of them. Which will then leave me with two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I'm going to have used half of them. Because, um, like I say, it'll only, it'll only take me a couple of hours maybe three hours sat here doing those. Yeah, and I'll have got half that pile used up, that's brilliant. Right, shall we have a go now? So I need to see this side so that I'm punching a hole 
actually in that reinforcement <laughs> so somewhere in the middle of it there and then that through the bottom am I not in the right place? no, nowhere near <laughs> a bit of red thread come through let's uh, cut that off before we're going to oh, nearly knocked the light on myself I've got my scissors hanging now above me on uh, some hooks that's better which is a much better place for them I know where to go to find them now. Yep, and then this has got an up and a down, an arrow, an arrow pointing up, so that one goes at the bottom. That one goes at the top. Lovely. Yeah, so it's got that bit extra, like I say, to to crush it in. I didn't bring any uh, thread either to put on it. So we're putting that on. That one can go a bit further over. That one did take a lot of room. I'll just have a look in this little pot I have here this lovely smelling pot <sighs> oh look I've got some of that sari silk that Doreen sent me now that would be lovely if it will go through it will won't it let's take the knot off do you know I might cut that off there not those scissors it looks a bit like a bow that yes that would be nice with the bows right <laughs> let's undo this oh yes lovely lovely well oh, and i'm going to get to use it twice then aren't i because it's so much so much of it using it in one of these do i want to be through that way i think i want to be that way so there we go a very red and fiery this project just put the whole thing through because i'm going to cut it off Oh, lovely. So how much do I want? Will that small one go round there? It will. Huh. There, do we think? Let's just tie it and see if I've got enough. I have. Perfect. So I just need to stick this on here. And I don't know if I needed to tighten those up or not. Let's have a look. I couldn't decide if it was loose. It's not. No, it's not. So, did I do two knots? I think I did. I'll do another one, <laughs> just in case I didn't. So I don't want it to come undone. I'm just tying them for a bow, in a bow for now, because I haven't decided what I'm going to do with them, whether I'm going to put lace on them or whether I'm going to put danglies. And, oh, I've got some charms. Yeah, I need to use some of my charms, actually. I've barely used them, so yeah, I'll probably end up with some charms on them. Um, so just this on the front, just make sure we're not sticking at the back. Oh. So I might have a session, let me know if you'd like me to, um, when I've made them all up, just decorating a couple of them. And uh, yeah, I'll put a couple of decorated ones in the Etsy then. Okay, so I'm just going to stick this on with some, some Fabri-Tac. Don't want anything else on it. I'm just wondering if it wants a butterfly, seeing as we're, we're being summery. Oops, don't spill any juice, Denise. Um, well, most of it's on, so I think it will be all right. That one, it's not. Uh, it's only on thinnish paper. That same one. There's a smaller one. Do we like that or do we want something a bit lighter? I've got a pink. I like that. It's got it's got uh, oops. What has it got? You hang fire a minute. It's got reddish edges. Right, how much of you is going on? Just about all of you, except for your wingtips. Now I could put, oh, I'll put some on the wingtip there. I could put a word or a number on that or anything. And yeah, I am very nearly through my clusters, so I don't know if I've said to you, that to you before or not. I really need to be making some clusters soon, so that's music to my ears. 
because at one point I had so many I felt guilty making them because I hadn't used what I had and now I have um, how much of that one stuck down as much as we can oops just an instant topper I've lost all my lids I'm loving these definitely loving them it's a pity I can't sit now but I can't I've sat here well I did a bit I did the blue one and then I had to go because I was getting cramp and then I've come back to do this one with you so now I better not do another one today but I can't wait till I can what did we have around the back that long one Yes, we've definitely embraced the red, <laughs> or I have. That's a wild piece of sari silk. Wild, love it. It's lovely. I love velvet as well, so yeah, I'm really, really loving those. You can see that one's thicker and bigger and chunkier, can't you? Okay, so that's it. Let me know if you want to see some of them um, next week maybe being embellished i can't wait to do it but i can do it on my own i don't have to <laughs> i don't have to share it with you uh, yeah let me know if you're enthused to have a go or if it's something you've already done and i've uh, come late to the party again but yeah i'm really really pleased that i'm going to get my others used up and i absolutely love these love them okay hope you have a lovely evening i will see you tomorrow for um it's my teddy treasure and friend no teddy treasure and clash type uh, collaboration so we're back with the lovely bluebells um bluebell woods tomorrow so yeah hopefully i will see you then bye for now <laughs>